You know those animated lower thirds that you see over here? This totally custom with my name and my profile picture and my Instagram handle. Well, how in the world do you actually create those so they're completely custom? Well, in this video, I'm going to answer that exact question because I got this question in the Thriving Side Hustle Video Creators Community over on Facebook. That's my Facebook group. This came from June. She said, hey, Meredith, do you have a tutorial on how to create this animated IG handle on YouTube? Well, as it happens, June, I need to create a completely updated one because I recently switched my Instagram username from vidpromom to meredithmarsh.com. Co. And if you're thinking, isn't that crazy? All of your other YouTube videos have the IG handle for VidPro Mom. Yes, it's crazy, but that's what I did. So MeredithMarsh.co is my new Instagram handle, and it's been years since I created a new lower third over here, or is it over here, <laughs> for my name. So. I downloaded a couple of new ones here. I wanna show you how I did that, where I got them, and how I customized them for my name and my Instagram handle using Adobe After Effects. But if you don't have After Effects and you don't want to learn After Effects, no big deal. I have another great hack for you. You're gonna love it. It's gonna save you tons of time. So I have purchased lots of um, animated graphics, lower thirds, audio files, and things like that through a company called Envato. They have videohive.net, Audio Jungle, um, Graphics River, I think it's called. So what you're gonna do is come on over to videohive.net. I put a direct link down in the description below this video, and then come on over and figure out exactly what type of file you wanna download. So if you want to download an After Effects template like I have done, then it's just a template. All you have to do is open it up in After Effects and make the adjustments. I'll show you step-by-step step how I did this. In my case, what I did is I searched for an After Effects template. All I had to do is come down here and search lower third. We could do lower third in After Effects. And then you can get even more specific and search for an Instagram lower third or a title lower third or something. There's so many different options. This is the one that I used for my title where it has my name and my website. So you can see this one right here. In this file that you download, you could choose from any of these. You can customize them, choose the one that you wanna use, and then just export the one that you wanna use. And then over here for social media lower thirds, uh, you have all these different options here. Now, both of the designs that I'm using are from Maestro Designs on videohive.net. So I'll put a direct link to the exact ones that I purchased and downloaded. So you can copy me if you want to. I'm totally okay with that. You just wanna make sure when you're looking at these options that you come down here and it will tell you what files are included. So if you're looking for an After Effects template, then make sure you're actually going to be purchasing an After Effects template and not uh, a template for another program that you're not using. So I have After Effects open over here. We don't have anything open in it. So I'm just gonna come over to what I downloaded, double click. You don't have to know what you're doing in After Effects with animation and all that stuff in order to customize these files. The files are already created. All you have to do is come in and add your name, your logo, and all that stuff. And most of the files that you download from Envato Market actually have tutorials and step-by-step -step guides of how exactly to do this. That's where I learned how to do it. Now, if you don't want to learn how to use After Effects or even how to just add a few skills to your resume and just customizing a few After Effects files, that's totally fine. Trust me, I totally get it. One thing you could do is actually use Fiverr. And I love going to Fiverr for getting little things done. So what you would actually do is download the file that you would want to use and customize from Envato Market or VideoHive.net. Again, I put those links down below in the description below this video. So you would make that purchase, download the file, and then come over here to Fiverr. If you're not familiar with Fiverr, I put a link down in my profile um, so that you can check it out for yourself. Just create a free account, then log in, come over here, and then you would just search for After Effects. 
And what you're looking for is somebody that you can pay a very affordable rate to have them do what you need to have done in After Effects. So this is a great way to get something done really quickly without you having to figure out how to do it yourself. Um, so what I did is I found this guy here. So what he says is I will do anything in Adobe After Effects. He has, you know, a good rating over here. So I'm comfortable sending him $5 or however much it would cost. So I'm not asking for him to create something completely from scratch. So I'm going to actually send him an order to do my Instagram lower third and have him working on that while we work on my name lower third. Before I actually make this purchase though, what we wanna do is actually hit contact seller just to make sure that this is something that he can do and wants to do for us since we're not really asking him to create an After Effects animation from scratch. So I'm gonna send him this message, we'll hit send, and then I'll come back when I hear back from him and we'll keep moving forward with this. For those of you who do want to develop your skills, your video editing skills, your After Effects skills, let's dive in to exactly how to customize these files inside of Adobe After Effects. So the first thing we're gonna do here, now that we have this loaded up, we only, obviously we wanna work on one thing at a time here. So under this folder here called main, we're going to see which of these lower thirds that we wanna edit. So I need to choose one. I think I'm gonna go with this one over here. So I need to figure out which one is that. Not that one, is it this one? Okay, so it is this one called LT. 07 double click it so now i'm just looking at this one lower third and we can edit this so the first thing that we need to do here is i'm going to put my let's see do i want my logo or my picture i think i'll do my picture here on this one so I just double clicked on that and then i come down to this one that says change image i'm going to double click on that and it's going to open up this, uh, this square here. And this is where we wanna put our actual image. So I'm going to actually select this here and then just hit delete. We're gonna remove that text from the screen because we don't want it to say your image. We wanna actually have our image in there. So then I'm gonna come up here to this assets folder right here and we need to actually add our image to that folder. So I know that I have an image here that I could maybe drop and drag. Yes, that worked. So now I'm going to take this image. I'm gonna drag it down here and it's going to create this image on this After Effects timeline for us. So now if we go back over to this LT07 tab over here, there's our image, but we need to edit this a little bit. So I'm gonna go back here to this image one, hit change image, and I'm going to right click and come down to transform and then scale. And we're going to scale this up. Oop. Let's go back a little bit. So you can see how it's still staying within that circle. And that's exactly what we want it to do. So I'm going to scale it up and make sure you hit that little preview checkbox so you can actually see what it looks like over here and then hit OK. So now we need to change our name. So you can see down here where it, we changed the image and then we have photography vlogger. So that's this little uh, title down here. So we, we need to change that. But then we also need to change the name because my name is definitely not Diane Sherman. So I'm going to double click on this. It's going to highlight for me here. I'm going to select all and then just start typing my name like that and it fits perfectly there so that's pretty good um, if i wanted to i could change the font to something different i could change the size i could do well that doesn't make any sense i could do pretty much anything i want here i usually like to use um avenir something about avenir i tend to stick with if I choose Avenir Next or Avenir Next Condensed, then it's a little bit smaller. I do usually like to have mine in all caps, not bold, all caps. There we go. But we need it to be a little bit darker. So let's try medium. 
Yeah, I think that works out okay. And then we can change the size, something like this. And then I think I'm good with that. I think that looks pretty good the way that it is. So coming down to change photography vlogger, let me double click on that. And I think what I'm going to do is just put vidpromom.com. Let's make sure we get an actual dot in there. vidpromom.com. And I'm going to just make this really simple and just give this a few spaces so that my M and my V actually line up with each other over there. So to see how this looks all together, if you just bring your uh, this scrubber bar current time indicator and just bring it all the way back on the timeline and just you could just scrub through this to see what it looks like. Now, obviously I need to change the color. If I hit the space bar, It'll also just play just like, you know, any regular video editing software would. Now to change the color of all these things, we want to come over here to this main, uh, this, this main project here and under effects control, we want to make sure that we have this color control selected right here. And you can see how we have reds and whites and we have this dark, uh, almost like a black color. So what we want to do is I'm going to grab the code for my blue color that I use a lot of times. And I'm going to make sure that I put that in for the red and we'll see what this looks like. So anything that was red, I'm making this um, aqua color here. Oh yeah, I really like that. I'm not going to worry about all the rest of these because I'm only going to use this one lower third for right now. And I actually really like those colors. The white is fine. That black color is totally fine. So now everything is colored the way that I want it to be colored. My lower third here, I think this looks great. I love this animation. So when you're happy with this and you think you are good to go. What you're going to do is come up here under file and then export, choose add to render queue. This is going to open up the render queue, which is going to be a little box down here. And you want to come in and make sure under output module, you're going to select lossless open this up, make sure that it is a quick time format that is going to create a .mov file. That is how we want it to be. And then you also want to select uh, for channels, you want to select RGB plus alpha and then come down here and we don't have any audio, so we don't need to worry about that. So we're just going to hit OK. Make sure this is selected over here under render and then just hit render. And we're going to see how this turns out on the other end. It may take just a few minutes for this to actually create the file for you. So over here in uh, Final Cut Pro, I have this file here on my desktop. I'm just going to drag it down so we can see what this looks like. And yeah, there's my lower third, my brand new lower third. All right, good news. I heard back from uh, this fellow over on Fiverr and he responded that he could in fact um, go ahead and do the request that I asked him for um, to create my social media, my Instagram lower third. And we'll make this payment. He'll get the order. I'll send him the files and then we will be good to go. Hit play on this. We'll see what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. So you already saw these in action, but here's my name lower third. And then here is my Instagram handle lower third. Those are the two ones that I use in conjunction with the subscribe lower third, but that one's not actually customized. I'll put a link down below to where I downloaded that file as well. So you don't even have to customize it. You can download it and use it just the way it is. It even has its own sound effects. And if you're totally new to editing videos, creating videos for YouTube, a total video editing newbie, you're in the right spot. I've got you covered. I have a whole playlist over here uh, covering all kinds of different tips and tricks and tutorials for beginner video editing. But I put my top 10 tips in my Edit Like a Pro cheat sheet, which I'll link to down in the description. So you can implement those tips and come up as a little more polished and a little less amateur in your next YouTube video.